Sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Watching the ships roll in. Then I'll watch them roll away again. Ooh, sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the tides roll away. Woo! Okay, I got some orders red now on y'all folks here. Okay, with a Sam Cook. Y'all I don't remember, but it sounded good to me. All right, let's get on into this story. We ain't gonna break bread. We just gonna go straight on in with what we came to deliver. Okay, and it wasn't my singing. We got a story that the Inquisitor put out on Kenya Moore, Nene Leakes, Mark Daly, and Greg Leakes. They trying to say Greg and Nene Leakes and Mark Daly was in cahoots to bamboozle Kenya Moore. I can't make this stuff up, okay? It's in black and white in print, all right? And Lindsay Cronin put it out. Cronin put it out. Yeah, she's over there working for the Inquisitor. This is her article, not mine. I'm just giving it to you as I am reading and partaking of it myself. Okay, her title reads, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 12, Kenya Moore and Mark Daly's Divorce Reportedly Leads to Nene Leakes' Feud. Okay, let's get on into it. They said, uh, you remember when Kenya Moore announced her plans for a divorce in September? Well, we got a little more history to go along with that. Okay, it says Kenya Moore failed marriage to exchange estranged husband Mark Daly has reportedly led to a major feud between her and Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Needy Leakes. According to an October 19th report, Hollywood Life, Daly allegedly went behind Moore's back and made contact with Leakes and Leakes' husband, Greg Leakes. Okay, ain't that the pot calling the cattle black? He don't cross enemy lines on Miss Kenya Moore Daly. That's what they're saying. Don't know if it's true. It could be. But anyway, I'm giving it to you from the Inquisitor. All right. It says, before their split was announced last month, the breakup comes after just two years of marriage, and it completely blindsided more, as in Kenya. Kenya and Nini are nowhere near in a good place, but she couldn't believe that any of the parties involved would do this to her. Now, ain't that something? Ain't that karma coming full circle? Or is it? I'm just saying, not in the article, just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says she found out and approached Nene, and that's when the fight ensued. It escalated quickly, and insider revealed to the outlet. Not only did Mark Daly allegedly go behind Kenya's back, and contacted her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star, he also allegedly told the couple that he didn't like his wife. <laughs> now, ain't that some hot coffee to be poured up in the cup? Okay, stick with it. Let me continue down this road. Now, my whole thing is, how in the world would your enemy, or how would your husband or soon to be ex-husband would even have your arch enemy's number why would he have that access where did he get that from kenya you got a spy you got a mold in your camp honey and you need to research it out and find out who leaked some information could it have been cynthia that's just my thoughts but we're gonna get on back to this article it said um as fans of the series, well, no, Daly was not seen in a regular role during the 10th season of the show. Even though he was married to Moore at the time, and when Moore returned for season 11, he was not seen alongside her. However, when he came to season 12, Mark was featured with his wife, apparently to look or took the opportunity to get close to Nene, who is Kenya's longtime nemesis. All right. While more, okay, and Leaks hadn't gotten along for years. Kenya never expected Nene to make contact with Mark, nor did she expect him to reach out to her. Understandably, 
Mark, I mean, Moore was completely shocked when she found out about the communication that was happening between them. All right. Kenya and Mark got married in June 2017 in St. Lucia and welcomed their daughter, Brooklyn, in November 2018, y'all. Okay. Still reading. They asked the inquirer or the inquisitor previously reported. Kenya spoke to TMZ earlier this month as seen on YouTube about Nene and during the interview, she slammed her co-star for bullying every single one of their co-stars before laughing about the way in which uh, Lise is intimidated by her. As she explained, she returned to the cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta in peace. But for some reason, Nene continues to be bothered by her presence. Moore also suggested that Leeks doesn't have any real friends remaining on the cast. Now, if we were to, this is my sidebar, if we were to believe everything that is being printed on this article that I'm reading by the Inquisitor, it would beg to differ that Kenya don't seem like you have any friends in the camp. I'm just looking at it from what I'm being told through this article that I'm reading to you all. Seems like Nene got all the cards. Because why would your soon-to-be ex-husband be, in a sense, calling her camp? And y'all ain't nowhere near cordial. <laughs> I'm seriously saying not even cordial. Because the next story I'm going to bring out tonight is telling me Nene tried to spit on you, girl. Woo. So what is your husband? What is your husband doing siding with the enemy? Mm, we're going to move back to the article and find out. Okay. Um, it says, can you return to her full time role on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 12 after appearing only in a cameo role on the series 11th season earlier this year? More previously starred full time on season 5 through 10. The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 premiere on Sunday, November 3rd at 8 p.m. On Bravo TV. Now, honey, all my Kenya supporters, y'all get in there and try to explain this situation. Okay? You don't have to explain it to me, but you can definitely put your comments down there in the comment section. And you can dialogue with other supporters of Kenya or foes of Kenya. All right? And I'll be looking, honey. I will be looking if you want to bring some action my way. Please be respectful, okay? Because like I said, I have no horse in this race when it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm not biased. I'm not unbiased uh, with any one of them. I kind of stay neutral. I just call a spade a spade when I see it. When I see them moving funny, when I see them talking funny, when I see them moving and shaking with folks they ain't normally been moving and shaking with, then that's when my antennas go up. I'm trying to think, what's the real storyline going on here? What is the true storyline going on here? Which field are you playing? Are we playing basketball? Are we playing football? Are we playing hockey? Or are we playing baseball? Tell me so I can get suited, so I can line up and get in the play, okay? That's what I'm saying. So, again, I have no horse in this race when it comes to Real Housewives of Atlanta or Merit of Medicine. It's just when anybody acting out the ordinary, I got to speak on it, okay? Because I kind of have, like, I want all of them to be class and not trash. I don't want them to be uh, cutting each other down every chance they get if it's not warranted, as you can say, okay? So, uh, as you can see, I should say. But that's the way I feel about it. I gave y'all my little sidebars of what I felt was going on and this, that, and the third and what could be cooking in the kitchen, you know, unbeknownst to myself. So I want to know what y'all think. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what is with this storyline? What is Mark doing behind enemy lines? So you saying he jumping on Nene team and Nene ain't got nothing, no love, no composure of positivity for uh, Miss Kenya Moore. Okay, Miss Twirl, Miss Twirl, Miss Twirl. Okay, why is she over there with uh, Nene? Why is she over there with Nene, the HBIC, as she definitely has claimed herself to fame? What is she doing over there with the rich bitch? Okay, that's what Nene calls herself. She's a rich bitch, okay? She be cashing Trump checks. Yes, she is the HBIC. She is the founder. She is the 
woman running the queendom over there if she must say so herself. Ain't nobody else saying it, okay? We just going by what she say, and we paying homage to her, all right? Because ain't nobody came and knocked her down, but that Kim, I mean, uh, Kenya is a force to be reckoned with. Yes, she is. It's just not her time yet, so that's just how I see it, and um, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the article itself, you know what I'm saying? Just the information, the subject matter is what I'm getting to. Not all your little, you know, oh, I'm just going to ride whether Kenya acting a fool or not. That's just my girl. I'm going to be there for it. No, because sometimes you can't be If somebody acting a spade or they out there starring stuff, and that goes for Nene too, you got to pull them back. If you're a real friend, if you're a real support, you got like, no, nah, you shouldn't have said that. Why are you going to go up there and say stuff like that? That's the kind of team I play on. If you foul, you foul in that play or, or, or that situation or that uh well, yeah, I guess it would be a situation. You know, what part you play in to get that negative feedback? You know, what did you do? Let's look at you first before we go jump on the enemy that you want us to jump on. Do you have some part of negativity in that? Did you have to approach her that way? You couldn't wait for another opportunity? See, that's what I would go with my true friends that I'd be riding for for that ties for. Don't put me in something that you started and then you know you didn't have no business in that situation, okay? Because then you on your own. You know, if ain't nobody trying to double team you in there like that, you on your own. <laughs> that's just how I roll. But all right, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it, okay? Get down in them comments and definitely be taking the polls that I do have out there on my community feed. Go on over there. Take them polls. Tell me what you think. And then I give y'all the 411 come Sunday evening, afternoon, or morning, okay? And also, you know, I'm trying to get to that 10,000 mark. Continue to keep telling people about me. Keep sharing my videos. Keep liking my videos. And definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment and think about it. Hey, where you going to get all this singing and, and entertainment for free? Okay, I'm giving it to you. All right? With no cost. All the cost is is your time. And hopefully, if you don't like me within 60 seconds, you would just cut me off and don't even come back this way, okay? But if you like what you hear, what you see, then come on back and join me, honey. Join me. We're a family. It's a family affair over here, okay? We get in discussions. We get heated sometimes. But then we have to come back and show love on, uh, you know, everybody that's over here in my camp, which is the day of Chanel 40th word. That's how we get down. We family. We get the fuss. We get the fighting. We get the arguing. And, and we just don't like each other sometimes. But then we come back because we know we loved over him. All right. That's what family do. That's what we do for family members. All right. But that's all I got. I'm going to come back with a spit video that Nene over there trying to hog up some stuff out her throat, some phlegm, and then she want to toss it on Kenya. Now, that's just pretty nasty, Nene. That's just pretty nasty. So, y'all check out that next video I'm going to drop. Okay? But that's what it's all about. All right. See you next video. Bye-bye.